Hey guys, this is the J Master from the Super Carp Gang, and welcome to my first Let's Play to the channel, Pokemon Tower Defense. Uh, this is a fan-made game made by, I actually don't know who the person is, I believe it's Sam and something, but I wanted to play this game because it's a unique fan game that um incorporates the tower defense genre in Pokemon. I liked it, and I played like a little of it, and it, I found it quite fun, so... Just gotta wait to achieve my profile. Um, yeah, to before you play the game, you have to like create an account and stuff and stuff like that. If nothing can retrieve my profile, please. Let's try this again. Come on. Oh my God! All right, there we go took a while, but anyway, um, let's start the new game. The name will not be Satoshi, who is the creator of the Pokemon series, if you didn't know. Uh, who should I be? Should I name myself J-Master as always? Uh, why not? There we go. So, um, I have a terrible Professor Oak Im impression, so I'm not gonna say it. Hello, I'm Professor Samuel Oak, this is my lab. Are you here for your very first Pokemon? Yes, I should say that this game incorporates the first 151 Pokemon, and I believe a few ones through Mystery Gift, but that's it. Um, they tell us that there are three special Pokemon, you probably already know, it's either Bulbasaur, Tournament, or Squirtle. Since Dark Void is playing Squirtle in his Fire Red game, then I'm not going to choose him. I would choose Charmander for Char Lizard, but I think I'm going to go with Bulbasaur. Because why not? Uh, yeah, the music can be a little quiet at times, but anyway. Good choice. I think you two will make a great team. Now, just to be safe, I'll ask you a number of questions about yourself. It won't take very long. Meanwhile, in a nearby place... Yay, hip drowsies, hypnosis, hypnotize all the useless rabbitas. Yeah, basically, Team Rocket's gotten intense now. We'll, f we'll be able to see more of the story later on. But anyway... Back at the lab. Alright, so now he's telling us which version, um, we want to play, either red or blue version. Um, it does determine the amount of Pokemon you'll find. Uh, I'm gonna go red version, because red is swag, and yes, I like red version, even though I don't own it. But anyway, here's where we get to incorporate the tower defense genre. Um, the Pokemon after is very candy, um, we'll start in first stage, which is, of course, this, um, he's telling us um, how to, um, put the Pokemon on the team and stuff like that. Here we go, current team is, of course, level 5 Bulbasaur, because that's the only Pokemon we have. Um, to drag stuff, we just place it on, um, the map, like a normal tower defense game, and here's how it works. Um, you have specific waves and millions of Pokemon start appearing, and they try to take the rare candy. If you run out of rare candy, then um, you either lose. Um, you also see there's an HP meter. Later on in the game, Pokemon will start attacking your own Pokemon, and it, if they die, you cannot use it in the stage. Um, if you run out of Pokemon, then you will die and get a game over, of course. But um, yeah, it's 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 a simple tower defense game. Um, each Pokemon get and it has like parts like like leveling up, evolving, learning new moves, like normal Pokemon games. Um, try not to get that. Um, you have money, which you use to actually level them up, as you see right here. I just leveled them to level 6. Um, yeah. Um, just wanna speed through, don't lose the rare candies. Um, position is always important in tower defense games. Um, I'm s putting it up front more because, um, you can get the Rattatas on the way back and, uh, and up front. Um, yeah. And there we go, we saved the day. And there is Gary Oak, of course, or Blue, whichever you prefer. Blastoise, tackle attack! Your Blastoise still has tackle? No! Anyway, killed all the Rattatas for us, which is nice, nice, but you're still Gary motherfucking Oak, so we don't give a crap. But now we can go on to the next stage, which is Route 1. We still have Bulbasaur, we haven't caught anything. Um, you can actually get um, the the tools that you probably saw, like the potions and stuff, those indicate, um, you like healing your Pokemon and capturing them. You can only capture Pokemon if they're, um, on, on, like, the red zone. 
Um, there are shinies in this game, which always have the red zone no matter what, so, um, you can catch them instantly, but anyway, Team Rocket's gonna control this young boy, and back in Pal Town, probably Team Rocket, we haven't seen them since, like, the entire cutscenes here, but, anyway, this, this youngster's going to stop us from trying to take out old Pokemon, so we're gonna have to teach him what for. Um, there's also speed and zoom-ins that you can put in. I'm at the max zoom-in right now, and, um, I'm keeping my speed at 1 for now. Oh, I should've caught that Pidgey. Uh, no, not yet. Oh, I'm not gonna reach it. Darn it. Alright. Lowers HP. There we go. Got myself a Rattata. I'm going to place this right here. There we go. Okay, I, wait, get that Pidgey. Ah, darn it. I'm gonna worry about leveling up. Leveling up. Leveling, leveling, bulbs are up later. I just want to catch a Pidgey. Alright, damage him. There we go. Got a Pidgey. Um, this probably won't be permanent on my team. I'll probably get rid of them eventually. But, um, let's level up Bulbasaur here. Bulbasaur and then Leech Seed. Um, maybe if you go to the Pokemon, you can change the commands like Tackle, Growl, Leech Seed. Um, you probably won't be able to see, um, the other fourth move. It, it's not there now, but the way my camera dimensions are right now may be difficult. Um, we have targeting options, who's the fastest, who's the slowest, most health, least health, super effective, ignore red, focus candy, ignore candy, stuff like that. Um, I'm just gonna keep it on standard for right now. Um, yeah, ooh, Pidgey level up. We learned sand attack, that'll lower accuracy, but, um, not really needed right now. Um, the music does get quiet occasionally, so yeah, anyway, we defeated this. I'll teach you, but you won't teach me. He's probably, alright. So, he's gonna bring in his own Pidgey, and now we're gonna show him what for. Um, this is a boss Pokemon, as you see, it's represented by, um, the blue health. Luckily, my Pokemon should be able to KO this thing relatively quickly. Um, yep, defeated. Inside the young boy's head. Get the candy, get the candy. Get the candy, get the candy. Get the candy, get the can- Who's that? I think I remember. Is that Pidgey? My first Pokemon? Joey, it's me. Help me. I don't want to fight anymore. Get the candy, get the candy. Joey, snap out of it. I can't fight anymore. Save me. I have to break free. Do I have to save Pidgey? Ah! T Youngster Joey breaks free from his hypnosis. Alright. So, because of that, now we can access Route 2 and Pidgey can level up. Um, but I don't have the cash right now, so... I guess I'll play one more stage or something like that. I know it's going to be relatively quick with these stages, but this is a relatively quick game and it goes by pretty fast. So, um, I'll do like maybe three or two stages an episode. But anyway. So, Nuxer Joe is going to try to pick up supplies for us, even though we have an infinite supply of Pokeballs in this game. Um, there are also, um, like side achievements that I'll, um, probably take care of after I beat the game, but besides that, um, yeah. Who's this man? His name is Cal. Isn't that that one trainer in Gold, Silver, Crystal that has, like, all the starters at level 50 or something? I think so. Anyway, um, we're off to Route 2, so... Um, looks like we have to train... Oh, he's talking about how to capture Pokemon and stuff, but, um... Now he's telling us to, um... Try to train and stuff. Just shut up. Um, he's gonna like help us train and stuff. Um, so let me play my troops in here too. Um, I have like the same Pokemon. It's in minus Bulbasaur. So, all right. So I'm gonna now set it to speed three just so it can move faster. Um, there's no new Pokemon on this route. I believe beside Mankey or something. But it's something really gonna level up Rattata here. Um, I'm just going by fast. Oh wow, we're at the fourth wave. Dang. Oh, you are. I want to get my other troops done. And wow, we're already done. That was a lot of waves. Holy crap. Now, if you think I'm breezing through fast here, just wait. It gets much tougher. You're going to have to train a lot more. It's crazy. But anyway, um, do I have any money right now? No, I don't. I'll get a lot more money as I progress through the game, but anyway. Pika Sam, we shouldn't be out here, Chew. Pika, you're right, Chew. Pika, who are you calling a oh, shut up. Uh, I shouldn't read this dialogue because it makes no sense. But anyway, Joey wants a Pikachu, so um 
You can find Pikachu in this area, surprisingly. Um, we have to save him from Vidro. This is when the stages start to get hard. Because it's all about, um, placement and how high your levels are, so... Now, we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to focus on both sides here, and since I don't have another Pokemon, I can't really do much here. Um... So this could be a problem. Oh, no, no, Weedles. Maybe I can do some damage. Um, these Kakunas. Ah, oh, darn it, I missed my chance. Um, no! Don't stop ganging on them. I want a Weedle. Just because I need one. I, I need more troops, so... Can I move? Can I please move Weedle over here. Thank you very much. Um, these Kakunas take forever to kill because they spam nothing but Harden. Oh, uh, I believe that's their only move, so catching them is kind of useless. So, um, let's see. Let's see. Um, yeah, I believe they only have Harden as an attack, so let me check. Oh, no, they have Poison Sting. Okay. Um, I don't need that. Oh, no, he's going to get away with the candy crap. Oh, no, never mind. Let's get that level up in. Oh, crap, I didn't want to move you. Is that it? Oh, crap. Yeah, I'm going to lose. Yeah, I'm screwed. I'm probably going to die here. So I'm going to have to do some off-screen training and stuff like that. Yeah, I just lost. Alright. So, next time on Pokemon Tower Defense, I'm going to do some off-screen training, and then we can proceed to fight Viridian Forest 1. See you guys then.